do you don't know what's going to spark somebody's anger. And you know, we see it out here. We get a lot of you know aggressive driving calls, and some turn into you know a crime when they decide they're going to you know strike the other car or do something you know even worse. Trooper Rick Johnson describes the worst case scenario when traffic is a nightmare, tempers flare, and driver frustration turns into road rage. It's up to the Washington State Patrol to police the highways, but Trooper Johnson reminds us it's our job to police ourselves. It's really going to be planning and knowing the alternate routes, delaying the commute. Planning is key, but so is your frame of mind. Dr. Astrid Pujari suggests changing your perspective by telling yourself a positive story. If I'm driving from Edmonds to downtown and I'm telling myself a story that I'm late or there's an appointment or this or that, then my physiology is going to be very different than if I'm telling myself a story of, hey, I get to listen to this podcast or I get to listen to this um, really cool audiobook. She also says, just breathe. Calming down your mind and body is as simple as slow, measured breaths. Breathing stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, especially conscious deep breaths, in which offsets the fight or flight response. So that's a simple technique that you can do while you're driving that works for stress. Dr. Pujari calls this breathing technique 478. You breathe in for four seconds, hold it for seven, and then breathe out to the count of eight. She says you can also do figure eights, not with your car, but with your head, neck, and your chin. So you can do figure eights vertically or figure eights laterally. And you can do big ones and small ones and alternate, and that helps to relax the shoulders and the neck. Finally, she says, try tightening up, but just for a second. Let's say you're driving like this. You tighten all your muscles tight, hold, and then release. And you can even combine that with a breath. Because sometimes it's too hard to force yourself to relax. So tightening up first can actually calm you down. Techniques you can apply on the highways and in your life. For HealthLink, I'm Amatia Drisi.